Hi guys, I wanted to make a video really quickly about the codec that's the DX story video codec that I use. Um, why? Because I see a lot of people on the DX story Reddit um, complaining that with the Lagrith co lossless codec that they use, they get huge file sizes. And that's actually, that's pretty normal because, well, as it is in the name, it's lossless. So a lot of data gets saved, but actually you totally don't need lossless, especially if you, like me, are just doing some casual YouTube stuff. And even if you are a professional YouTuber, you still don't need a lossless codec. So I wanted to show you, I will show you my settings here for the X264 codec actually, which will already, um, while you are recording, will uh, compress your video. Uh, so you will have smaller video sizes. Now you might say, well, but I want my lossless video. Well, I will show you, I will compare uh, two recordings. Uh, one um, one that has a lot of motion and another one that has not a lot of motion, uh, both with uh, X264 and with Lagrid Losses Codec. Um, comparing those that there is actually hardly any noticeable difference, uh, especially on my uh, PC that I have here, which is, I guess, an average PC. Um, the most important part is, of course, your CPU which in my case is about a hundred dollar CPU, which is not a great CPU, but it's also not a terrible CPU. It's fine for recording 1080p 30 frames per second and busy games and for not so motion heavy games, uh, 60 frames per second uh, is also very, uh, very possible. Um, let's, let's maybe first compare uh, the two videos and I will also show you the file sizes that I get with those, with, with both codecs. Okay, so we just compared two games side by side and even slowed it down to really investigate uh, if there is any difference in bet between the quality of the video. And I have to say, I don't see it. I don't see a difference and you can, uh, you, c you can say, well, you're watching this on YouTube probably. You can say, well, oh, you have, you compressed it uh, in posts editing uh, before uploading this. And yes, that's true, but you have to think about it. That's actually what you also will do when uploading to YouTube. You will also be compressing that video before you upload it. And even YouTube itself will compress your video uh, after you uploaded it to YouTube itself. So does it really matter that you have lossless then? I don't think so. I think it is more interesting to have uh, reduced file sizes uh, with 
if you, if you compare it, we just, we just saw it, I didn't see a real difference between the two videos. And even I have to say, um, you didn't see the frame rates, uh, on, on the video, but when I was recording it, I paid attention to it and I actually, the Lagrid lossless codec, uh, had a consistent about two frames per second lower write speeds than the, than my computer actually was, uh, making the video, making the, the game. Like, uh, I think with the settings, uh, that I had, the video settings that I had, the graphic settings in the game, uh, and I'm talking about Heroes of the Storm now. The other game that was consistent 60 frames per second, there was no problem. But for Heroes of the Storm, with those settings, those graphic settings, uh, both when recording my, my computer, which is a pretty average desktop gamer computer, uh, had 40 frames per second. Now, when I'm gaming and not recording, uh, I get a solid 60 frames per second, no problem. But when recording, I had 40 frames per second, and with the X264 codec, the write speeds to the disk was actually pretty much the same. Uh, maybe here, here and there, they had one frame per second dip. While with the Lagrid lossless codec, I had a consistent about two, three frames per second lower write speed to the disk. And so you all are already losing some frames. You may have noticed that I I think I saw a few f more dropped frames with the uh, Lagrid losses codec in the comparison, but I'm not totally sure. I didn't investigate it frame by frame. And actually, if you're uploading it to YouTube, even at 30 frames per second, you won't notice it because I was recording it above 30 frames per second. Now, that Heroes of the Storm uh, fragments, I record, recorded five minutes uh, of that replay. And with the Lagris lossless codec, that was 11 gigabytes. I can actually, I can probably show you here. So this is the file, this is the file with the Lagris lossless codec, which is, as you can see, five minutes and four seconds. And you can also see that the size is just under 11 gigabytes, which is about two gigabytes per minute. For 1080p, I, the X-Array was set to record at 60 frames per second, but as I said, it was averaging at 40, 40 frames per second. And this is with the X264 codec, which is also five minutes, four seconds, and only three gigabytes. Now that makes, in my opinion, that makes a huge difference. And I would rather prefer only three gigabytes instead of 11 gigabytes, even if it's only for five minutes. Now you have to decide it for, your, for yourself if you have huge amounts of storage. Well, you just keep on recording with the Lagos Lotus codec. But as I said, I didn't see a real difference in quality and I, then I rather prefer the lower uh, lower file size. So, yeah. Now to end this video, I guess you can call it the tutorial video, I just want to show you the settings that I use in the X story. So I sometimes change this if I notice that I can't get a solid 60 frames per second. For instance, like you saw in the, uh, I said it before in the Heroes of the Storm video, I only get about 40 frames per second. I would probably set this to 30 just before I start recording. Uh, and so I use the 64 bit version of the X264 codec. And these are my settings, which are based on uh, a rather big YouTuber that I uh, follow. You can, you can change this rate factor uh, to a higher or lower quality, depending on what you want. This will also probably determine the file size. And this extra command is apparently very important. So these are two, two dashes. So make sure you do not forget that. Okay. And the uh, audio ball well, that you have to set up for yourself, of course. In the advanced step, this is my default. I also limit my video FPS. Why do I do that? Because I'm convinced, convinced, well, 
of course, I have to say my, my monitor is only a 60 hertz monitor. So every frame rendered above that 60 FPS is a total waste of uh, energy, resources, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you render over 60 frames per second, you just heat up your processor and graphics core more than it needs to because you're throwing away frames anyway. So I'd rather have a little bit, uh, a little lower temperature on my on my computer, have a little lower fan speed, have a little lower noise, so I don't have to filter that out in post editing. Um, I have every have this set to uh, all processors. Um, my processor is an AMD FX uh, six three hundred, uh, which is a six core six thread. Uh, processor, uh, about a hundred dollar processor, and I have set it to uh, to occupy every uh, core. Now, usually games are more uh, are more uh, depending on your graphics card and not so much on your CPU. So this doesn't ma matter. You can check, uh, like for instance, with software like MSI Afterburner, if you are maxing out your CPU or not while you are recording. If that is happening, you might have to lower this or lower some settings uh, in your game when you are recording, just so you are not maxing out your CPU. Because your CPU is uh, is the only thing that you use when recording and rendering and compressing video, not your graphics cards, your uh, processor. Okay, guys, uh, I think that is everything I wanted to say. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you out in the comment section below. Uh, as Again, I just wanted to make this video really quickly because I saw that a lot of small YouTubers like me um, use the Lagrid Lost Codec and have trouble with huge file sizes. If they want to record their 20 minute episodes, they end up with 50 gig fi uh, video files. And I have to say, I rather have 20 minutes of uh, 1080p as you can see here, 1080p, 60 frames per second, I get about 1 gig per minute max, absolute max. I usually get about 15 gigs uh, for a 20 minute episode. And I rather prefer that than 60 or 50 gigs uh, for, for uh, like even 720p video. Uh, I've read some people saying, well, I get 3 gigs per minute and I'm recording at 720p at 30 frames per second. And I'm, I was thinking, like, I have to, I have to help, uh, help you guys out. Just share my experience. Uh, use the X264 codec. The Lagrid Losses codec is, uh, in my opinion, just a bit overkill. You don't need that lossless quality. If you're uploading to YouTube, YouTube will compress your video anyway, so you're losing all that... Uh, quality anyway. So again guys, uh, just my experience, just trying to help you guys out if you have any problems with that. Uh, so if you if you have questions, I'll be in the comment section below. Uh, and otherwise, if this helped you, please leave a like on the video. Uh, you can always also subscribe, of course, and I will see you in the next video.